This is Game Dev Tycoon, in which you can play until so you're fired because this is a demo. Because I already got my first impressions yesterday, last night, and it's kind of like, oh, this game's so hard. Uh, can I go to menu? F yes, settings. Audio, on or off? Oh, volume. <laughs> There, that's better. It was so fucking loud last night, I didn't know how to fix it. He wouldn't let me press escape. God! Okay. So! I made a half hour episode last night with no commentary. Just, you know, random. <coughs> just kind of like that, randomly. Because I wanted to get my first impression see how well this game run. Um, I'm fairly certain this music playing in the background is not copyrighted so I, that's just what I'm hoping and that this half hour episode will not be a waste but um I'm gonna name my company oops a little lag there the Prazas because uh I got a note at my door it says some event that's going on that was on the 18th was sponsored by the Potter's House which I don't know who they are so that's just what I name my company the Prazas I can be a female. I can be rubbing our breasts while making a game movie like, oh, this is my break time, I'm gonna rub my nipples. No, I'm gonna be male. Uh, ew, no, I'm not a black guy. I want short black hair. Or brown, I mean. It's not very many choices, which this one's. Well, this is back when the 80s, so. If I was born in the 80s, it probably looked like that. I need. What is this? Oh, it just goes back. Okay. I can't choose my pants or shoes. Hell yeah, I like that shirt. I want that shirt in real life. That's how let's go. Alright! So, what do you do in this game? Well, it's a game where you can make games and get reviews and make money and or go bankrupt. And get bank loans, which is fun. What topics can I do? I can do sports, military, medieval, space. I was thinking about doing chivalry, but I want to save chivalry for... Um, if I do buy this game, which I probably will, because I like this game. There's so many different topics you can choose from. Um, if I ever get this game, I have one in mind. Space, sports, military, medieval. I'm going to do military. I'm going to be the creator of Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. Genre. Strategy. No. <laughs> Action. G64 or PC? I am a PC guy, but. Huh. Let's go with G64. I've always been with G64. The funny thing about this game is that it will not, you know, say the correct names of the platforms that are made in real life. It will just create its own name for it, which is really funny. Like Nintendo. Is actually supposed to be Nintendo, just one letter difference. Engine, no. Gameplay, all the way up. Story, just not much story really. It's like Black Ops, you can't understand what the whole story means. <coughs> so I think that's good. And yes, you will create bugs, which I will show you how to get rid of your bugs soon. Dialogues, meh. Level design, yes. AI, yes. Dialogues can go down. There's not really that much real good dialogue. Except for Reznov. Reznov has the best dialogues. That's about it. 8,000 monthly costs. Great. So yeah, up in the top right corner it says your fans, year one, month two, week three. I have until year five, so this demo only lasts half hour, which is pretty good for a demo. <coughs> graphics can go up, world design, sure, actually graphics go down. Sound all the way up, because sound always sounds good in any Call of Duty game. <laughs> Alright, so how do you fix bugs? You just wait for them to be disappeared, and sometimes you'll have stray design and technology, which doesn't look like there's any, so... Oh, there's one! Finish. This is good points for when I start off. 
New topic, new combo. Great combo! Holy shit. Maybe this will do it. And game review. The first review is for your for our newly released game, Call of Duty came in. Oh god. <gasps> Am I gonna get hit already? Oh yeah! Come on, give me give me an eight. An eight. Okay, seven's cool. Give me an eight. What are you gonna give me? Beautiful. Of course it's beautiful. It's Call of Duty. Give me an eight. Yeah! Damn, I haven't done this good. The Potters! A new newcomer in the game industry has just released the first game, Call of Duty. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, the process of certain game fans quickly. <laughs> I can't believe Call of Duty did it for me. <clears throat> Holy shit! I sold 5,000 units. I got 42 fans. <laughs> Call of Duty was so successful that we now have 42 fans. Sweet. See, now I can play a game where I can call my uh, people who buy my games fans. Call of Duty has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of the Potters. Yep, it is. <coughs> Holy shit, people are actually wanting to buy it that way. Or that week. I think these are all weeks spread out. I have $102,000 already. I can research something. New topic. <gasps> Racing, fantasy, pirate, sci-fi. I want drama so I can actually show off something I did in Sims. <clears throat> uh, fantasy, racing, sci-fi. Sure, fantasy. Start research. I'm not gonna do a custom engine yet. I want to. Uh, I got five more fans. I have 109, 111 fans from our first game. I have never done this well. This is awesome. Alright. Call of Duty. Awesome game to start off with. Fantasy. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm going to do with fantasy. New game. Big topic. Fantasy. Uh, it's really... Half action, half adventure, half RPG, and a little bit of strategy. I think it's more into role playing games. G64. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Final Fantasy! Awesome game. Newly made ones are like, ugh, not interested. It's going to be a text based game. No, 2D. <laughs> I've never played the first Final Fantasy, so I don't really know how well it does. I know the story is good, gameplay is like, meh. Gameplay can be up, engine can suffer. Story, it's gotta have a really good story. As they usually do. <coughs> Recent market studies suggest that the Govador C64 study outstanding competitors in the PC. Ooh. Experts say that it might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> Coughing too hard. Dialogues all the way. Uh, dialogues aren't really that great. Never really found any good dialogues in that game. Level design, yes. Our AI, not really like the best AI. Like in World at War, the AI is fucking way up there, but uh, I like AI where it is. Dialogues. Level design, that's what serves this game well. Cause the layout is always beautiful. World design, up. Graphics, it's like, it doesn't matter. Sound, it doesn't have like the best sound ever like in Call of Duty. Call of Duty has like awesome sound. <laughs> that's why I play that game so much, because of the sound. Like when you shoot a, uh, and one grand, it actually sounds like it, <coughs> which is awesome. Finish. Fantasy role-playing game. New records. <sighs> nice. I'm level one. <sighs> First reviews are released. 
Ah! Could have been more. So it was like an okay game. Quirky but good. How is it quirky? Six. I like it. You gave me a six though. Alright, all sixes. So is potential. Every start shows potential. How's it gonna sell? According to rumors, Japanese company known as Nivento <laughs> is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Dinky King. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. <coughs> 6,000 units. <coughs> Contract work. Oh, thank you. I have more fans. <coughs> I sold the same amount of units those two weeks. Oh yeah, you can do contracts too, which I do have contracts. Uh, play test, help to play test the game, which I always start off doing. Debug, library software. I've always wanted to play test the game. That's what I've always wanted to do, was to go to some random company and they'll pay me to test out their game. Like, even if I got paid $20, I would still do it. That's just me. Like, yes, I know. If I got paid to test out a game, I would so do that. I want money. <clears throat> a lot of British software. That'd be so cool, though. And yeah, he takes random breaks. <coughs> Invento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming called Tests. <laughs> uh, I have 259 fans. It's now at the market to sell 23,000 units. 164,000 in sales. So I made some money. Contract failed! Ah, Well fuck you too. Alright. Let's see, we did those two. Um, space Sports Medieval. What kind of medieval game could I do that was made a long time ago? Let's do a sports game. Genre Sports Simulation, Sports Strategy. Um, simulation, I guess. All right, what should I do? What sport should I do? I could do football, which I'm not a football fan, really, <laughs> except for when someone gets hurt. Uh, what? I like basketball, even though I just said that weird. Basketball. I wonder if this will fit. Is that how you spell it? Little Leaguers? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, that sounds so much like a different word. That's kind of a bad word. League. The Little League. Sure. It's better than saying Leaguers. <laughs> uh, the Little League. 2D graphics game. Yes. Engine. There's not really that much of an engine in that kind of game. No story in a sports game, really. Come on now. There's no quest in a sports game. The only quest I can think of is going to rival up against uh, a different sports team. Not very many bugs so far. Dialogues, level design, no. There's not much level design in the sports game, anyways. Uh, AI. Dialogues can go up a bit. Like, you could be in an awesome sports game with amazing dialogues. <laughs> no. I think when people buy games, they're looking for sound and story. Level design, down. We'll focus on dialogues a little. 
I have 45 research. I should research something. Let's see how well this game does. Still 8,000 monthly costs. World design down. <laughs> Graphics, yeah. Sound all the way up. Basic sounds, 2D graphics. <laughs> Let's go with the lot of sound. There's only one bug. <clears throat> That's new. There's two bugs. I was waiting for that. Are there any more stray points? No? Okay, cool. There we go. New record for technology. Holy shit, look at all those level ups. Release game. Game review has came out. <gasps> good, bad, good, normal. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going back to sixes again. Wait. Yeah, there's a seven. He has some taste. Oh, come on. Well, of course, AI is good for sports game. All right. Some people like taste, some people don't. Today, the new game platform test by Ninvento has been released. It's so hard to say with a V instead of a how it's normally spelt. I got more fans. It's not selling very well. Like it's it's bringing me back up to two hundred thousand, but eh, it's giving me fans. It's not really that great. Research. New topic. <sighs> Should I do racing comedy? <gasps> I don't think Seinfeld ever made a comedy game. Yes! I love Seinfeld now! Because <laughs> every time I go to work, I just watch it whenever it comes on. I hope that's what it's called. Seinfeld? Oh god, I really hope that's what it's called. Little League is now off the market. Sold 15,000 units and 108,000 in sales. Still okay. It's not really hit. I can't believe you can make a comedy game. <gasps> Wait, what was that one comedy show? Ah, oh, what was that called? Ah. Uh, I can make a Dr. Phil game. <laughs> No, that's not what it's called. It was, uh... Oh my god, what is it called? I can't remember! It's like a Seinfeld game. Actually, wait. I could make, like, a Simpsons game or something. Or Family Guy. Comedy? Fuck, what kind of genre is comedy? A comedy adventure game? Comedy simulation? I don't know. I've never really... Uh... Adventure? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> the test. License costs 80000 Sure. Not that much. Let's make it. Seinfeld. And if I spell it wrong, I'm sorry. Seinfeld. 2D graphics. I've never made a comedy games yet. Engine, the yeah. story has to go up, gameplay can go down a little. It's a comedy game, it's not a. Ooh, dialogue's gotta be up there. It's a comedy game for people. Come on. For Christ's sake, people. How'd I get back down to 94,000? Dialogues, of course! AI, doesn't matter. Level design, yeah. It's gotta be really focused on dialogues. This is a comedy game, you know? Dialogues. I got so much research I could put into something. World design, yeah. Sound. Does sound go with voices? I don't know. We'll boost it up there, just in case. Alright, I made a Seinfeld game. <laughs> I don't know if they ever made one. Oh, oh, there it is. New records. You know, I'm pretty sure 12 was my last record, but whatever. New topic, new combo, great combo. 
Uh, comedy adventure is a great combo. Okay, cool. I was thinking right then. Dude, you gotta empty your trash can. Look at how full that is. Where? Oh my god! It ate! Give me something good. Give me something good. It oh my god! They love comedy games! <laughs> Eight? Can I get a nine? Whoa. Yeah! One of the best! Oh my god, is this my hit? Is this what I've been waiting for? Seinfeld! You should have made a game for Seinfeld! Oh my god! Look how well Seinfeld's selling! Holy shit! Look at that! Seinfeld is so good! We gotta do this contract. Develop a simply library game. Install Microsoft Boss. Or <laughs> my, I, I, I don't know why I said Microsoft. Help debugging a convoluted base system. Okay, cool. You have enough time to take out. The, I think we're gonna fail this contract. I love the games that come with a test, and playing with the controller is so much more fun than a keyboard. Can we do this? Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think we have enough time. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. No more contracts. No. No. I don't care about game history. I want to create a new game. Oh, fine. It wasn't that much of a hit. It was a good game, though. Research. <laughs> new topic. Music. Huh. I could do a music game. I could make a Disney game. And it's all about music. <gasps> the sound of music! Let's do it! I didn't like that show, but it's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> sound of music. 